aquí nos encontramos directamente de E3 2016, William Sánchez para InfoGamer. Y qué mejor manera que comenzar esto, con que estar aquí con una leyenda viviente del FGC. Aquí tenemos al señor Alex Mayer. How you doing, sir? Oh, I'm doing fantastic, man. Yeah, yes. It's, it's a great honor to meet you at last. I've been following you for several years. But here is the legend. Can you talk a little bit of it, you know, how, how have you been your progression? to the FGC community from being, uh, you say, a fighter to a, a, a big person who organized, you know, tournaments are? Uh, I think it's a natural progression. You know, I've uh, played so many tournaments, but I never really wanted to run it because I'm a player. I'm like, I want to win. I yeah. want to win, right? <laughs> and then after a while, you know, you, you stop playing and then your region is no, no longer that good. Street Fighter 4. Okay. And then I thought, you know what, maybe I should start training Maybe I should start hosting events now. I'm of age. I know everybody in the community yeah. that helps each other. Yeah. And um, it just worked out that way. And I felt like I don't really need to play because I've done it all. I've done a lot of accomplishments. It's now, I think it's, it's more rewarding to give the opportunity to the next best Street Fighter players now. Yeah, just, so like, yeah. To give back to the community, yes, right? Absolutely, that's very important if you want to progress in the scene. Okay, so that's, that's the same we saw down, down there. We saw Mono, we saw Jonas, you know, giving, giving her, his background, his knowledge back to the community as well. So we were talking before starting the interview that you have kind of partnership with the first attack tournament. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely, so uh, shout outs to Mono and everybody in the Puerto Rican community. Uh, First Attack has given us an opportunity to collaborate events and by, by what that means is that we are going to have one of our best players go to Puerto Rico yes. All right, for the First Attack. That's brought to you by um, Esports Puerto Rico um, and they're going to have our best. And I just announced uh, in the middle of the season that I am actually also going to go over there as a mentor to the event. Yes, so I'll be over there for the first. I've never been to Puerto Rico, so oh, I'm, 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 so I'm very, time, very, very excited. <laughs> okay. And, um, you know, again, shout outs to an amazing community. And like that destination, it's not just a tournament. It's a vacation. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? It's a vacation. It's a paradise, yes, baby. Yes, okay. I'm super excited about it. Ooh, that's yeah. very great. Yeah. And then for the last thing I want to touch, I want you know from the legend itself what do you think about Ibuki Ooh. so Ibuki has a history of very of being too like cheap and annoying and everybody's like oh man I have to deal with the vortex the character vortex. the vortex character but you know in this one I welcome it because the game is already super rushed down Everybody has their own type of vortex already. I mean, you can do the shimmies, jab throw, like even the most basic stuff, and it feels really hard to deal with. Yeah. So throw Ibuki to the mix, so you got a bomb. She can refill her kunai, yeah. you know. Uh, I haven't really played her yet, but from what I see that she looks really interesting to me. She's can air glide. So um, anything that re-envision re that character, I'm all for it. You know, as long as Capcom didn't like rehash it, and make it like, oh, this is the same thing. Right. Like they took out her sliding neck breaker and stuff like that. So yeah. they're trying to make you play a different way. And um, I'm really looking uh, forward to the update to try her out. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Ada. Do you want to give a shout out to your community? The Wednesday Night Fight shout out? Uh, yeah, uh, every Wednesday, it's we celebrate fighting games and it's called Wednesday Night Fights. Yes. We have many, many fighting games over there. Street Fighter V, Smash games, uh, Mortal Kombat, a Killer Instinct if people want to play, you know, Tekken, even Super Turbo. But um, every Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard on twitch.tv slash Level of Life. All right, thank you very much, man. It was a great pressure. Y seguimos acá de E3 2016. Thank you.